Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast. This video is about the Great Promenade Show at Blackpool. So at the moment we're right at the very southern end of Blackpool Sea Wall and we're going to take a look at 10 pieces of artwork that are on the seafront. So this one is called The Sound of the Wind Looks Like This. You can understand why. And there's a north south east west thing it's blowing it's blowing northwesterly at the moment so that's that's your north south east west and that was done in 2003 by stephen hurrell and these are aluminium poles and i think they're supposed to light up i don't know if they still work or not so as i said we're at the very southern end of blackpool new south promenade right at the side of this big building, which is the tram shelter. And we're going to take a walk right down to the sandcastle. I'm getting my exercise today. And we're going to look at all the different ones individually. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep joining little bits of video together and then you've not got to do the whole walk with me. So in 1999, Blackpool Council approached more than 50 different artists some were established and some were, some were emerging and asked them to put their ideas forward for an outdoor art gallery, which is a unique interpretation of Blackpool's natural and man-made environment. And these are the ones that the public voted for. So it went to public vote. I don't think this is actually one of the pieces. I'm not sure. I think this is just a shelter. There's no, there's no sign on it. Can't see. Oh, that's an artistic shop. Look at that. That's nice. There's nothing on it. So unless this is, this might be Frankenstein project, which is steel, glass, and neon. Oh, look at that little dog. That's gorgeous. Another digression. I think that might be that. So we're a little bit further on now in our journey northwards. <coughs> and the next thing that we come to is one of the seafront shelters. Now I'm fairly sure that that's a shelter, but I think I think I might have found the Frankenstein project because the Frankenstein project is described as steel, glass and neon. So I think it might be this submarine because nothing else, I know what, I know which one some of them are, but nothing else kind of fits the description. So I think it might be this and I'm hoping this might be a sign on the side of it that tells us. If it is, it was installed in 2001 and it was made by a designer called Tony Stallard. Um, and I think originally there were, there were things inside it that lit up when you looked through the windows. But given the fact that it's been in place for, well, nearly 20 years, I would suspect if it was supposed to do something mechanical, it probably doesn't by now. Let's have a look through the portal. Can't see a thing. <laughs> In fact, the portals are just completely rusted up. Um, what's in there? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Big fat nothing. So that's that one. And that's where we're going next. I just want to take a, a photograph of this, of this concoction before we carry on so I'll join you in a second now this one's got to be water wings for obvious reasons and it's laser cut stainless steel and it was installed in 2001 now you get the full the full kind of effect of this better when when uh, you pass it on the road on the on the highway at the side here because it lights it up better and you can see it better from a distance 
and in fact if you see it at sunset it's it's quite stunning um i've got some photographs that i took one year at just as the sun was going down and it was lit up at the back and it, it does look really effective when when you see it like that and as you can see it's quite a popular spot down here there are loads of people out walking and enjoying this november morning it's a lovely day this one's got to be glam rocks in 2001 by peter freeman my dad used to work with a guy called peter freeman i did ask him if it if he thought it might have been the same one and this is sprayed concrete rendered with marble and it's fitted with stainless steel and glass light points so there you go glam rocks either that or 1970s pop let's get a shot of it from this side where it looks all artistic all lit up with that lovely sunshine next stop north and we're at the more or less at the Solaris Centre which is just across the road as you can see there and I think this one is just a shelter when I say just a shelter don't underestimate the value of a shelter on the seafront because it's lovely being able to just park yourself for five minutes so we've also stumbled upon the people from the illuminations department taking down the mirror ball which I knew they were doing this week and it's going to have a, a refurbishment it has one periodically probably about 10 years since it was done last time to be to be fair um, obviously it's exposed to a lot of bad weather and you can see how the how the tiles are corroded with the salt and the, the wind anyway it'll be all sparkly and beautiful when it comes back so that's called They Shoot Horses Don't They? And it's by a guy called Michael Trainer, who is also working with various local projects currently. And that was installed in 2002. It has a steel frame, a fiberglass shell, and mirror square outers. So that's going to be reinstated and all of a, all of a gorgeous and shiny. Is the top of it there. So that's the next one in our in our walk along the prom. Now this gorgeous specimen is called Desire and it dates back to 2001 and it was designed by a guy called Chris Knight and it's made out of cotton steel slabs with stainless steel spikes and that actually forms the shape of a heart. If you look at it that way. And I think it's, I think it's supposed to be slightly rusted. And as they said on, on, on the poster, the art show might not um, float your boat, but there's something for everyone and there's something different depending on what your taste is. And it does break up a big, a big otherwise empty space. And you can see that as well, the, the lights, the lights are artistic. And we're coming up to another one of the shelters. I thought this white thing in front of us was a light earlier. <laughs> and then I realized that it's actually a sign with the sun sun reflecting on him and it's surprisingly busy there's there's been lots of people about obviously i've not made a point of catching them all on camera but on a lovely day like this why would you not want to come for a walk on blackpool seafront what an absolutely glorious day <clears throat> we're at the next piece now which is one of the swiveling wind shelters. Try saying that quickly. And there you go. I'm not quite sure whether they still swivel, 
because last time I came down here it was pointing the same way um, but nonetheless it is intended to swivel and when we get a bit nearer to it you'll see that there's a, a sort of a mechanism on the floor I would imagine I would imagine if it's like everything else on the seafront that it's rusted up and it swivels no longer so this piece was installed in 2005 and it's designed to move, as I said, with the, the wind that acts as a vein and a shelter. And it was designed by Ian McChesney with a Tellier one. And I do believe there are two, yes, I can see the other one down there. It's just down there. So there are two of these. And that's the boulevard and the big one. And this is a bit of a, well, a bit of a casualty of the modern world because this is where two of Sir Peter Blake's statues were supposed to be. And they were two bronze casts made in 2003. And they were fitted onto these two base plates. And sadly, the, the vandals decided that they like the look of this one which was called life as a circus i'll read it out to you because it's not very clear <coughs> sir peter blake obe 2004 four man up and equestrian act are sir peter blake's first public sculpture the fantasy circus acts celebrate the great entertainment tradition of blackpool and i think it was scrap metal thieves actually that went for it so Sir Peter Blake's statues were, were sadly taken down. Now I believe, and I've not got there yet, you can see the sandcastle in front of us, I believe that there's another sort of polymer version of them as being made and installed much nearer to the sandcastle than, than this. The originals are in a glass case in the reception area at Bickerstaff House, which is the council, the new council office is near the big Sainsbury's. And I know that they're there because I've seen them. They're in a, because I was quite surprised actually about how, how small they are. They're in a, a glass case in reception. So if, you, if you're interested in that kind of thing, you can just pop in and you can just take a look at them. And uh, then you'll have seen work by an acclaimed artist. So on my way north, I've just spotted this little plaque which celebrates the new iconic lighting columns at South Promenade, a first for Blackpool. It has been specifically designed as an integral part of the first phase of the master plan to regenerate the promenade and the town. So there you go. And they do look quite striking. You can see them all up there where they're lined up. And it's surprising what a difference just something as simple as the lighting column makes to the look of an area. Quite amazing that. In fact, you can see them better there, Laura. Well, nice. I turned round from looking at that plaque about the lights <laughs> and I saw that. Now, I've got no idea. It doesn't tell it to any of the descriptions that I'm looking for in the artwork trail but i just wondered if anybody knows whether these are part of it because they look like for lego bricks now knowing knowing modern art there's every chance that they could actually be part of the trail um but i've got no idea so if you know the answer to that just bob me a bob me an answer in the comments below so we've only got a couple of pieces left to explore now so we're heading that way down to the sandcastle. And last but by no means least, we've arrived at the high tide organ. And this was installed in 2002, designed by a guy called John Goodin. And this sits on a concrete base. It's a, a cotton steel gadget, and it's clad in, in copper sheets, copper sheet polyethylene. Oh, sorry. No, it's clad in copper sheet and the inlet pipes are polyethylene. 
And the organ pipes inside it is ink, and you can see the inlet pipes inside it. There, look. Look, like a proper, like a proper organ in a church. So this amazing gadget plays a tune when the tide's high, because the water pushes the air inside it, and it makes a makes a noise. So I've just had a message from my camera to tell me that my battery is low. So at that point, I'm going to bid you a, a good day. And I'm going to remind you that if you've not already subscribed for the Visit File Coast email newsletter, that you need to do, you need to hit that little bell for notifications. So from a beautiful sunny November Blackpool and the tide organ at the side of the sand castle, I will bid you a good day and I hope you've enjoyed this little walk around. That's all for now. See you later. Bye.